Inter Miami are starting to dominate American soccer. July of 2023, they signed the best player in the world, Lionel Messi, and following him, they signed former teammates Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, and Luis Suarez. Signing these superstars alongside winning the League's Cup and also having a beautiful set of kits has really pushed them onto the world stage. But there's just one thing missing, a state-of-the-art stadium behind them, but that's all going to change now as they're going to build a $1 billion new complex, and that's what we're talking about in this video. Right, so currently Inter Miami are actually playing at the Chase Stadium in Fort Lauderdale and this stadium has a bit of history itself, a lot of faces have come and gone in their time. The stadium was built in 1959, originally for the Fort Lauderdale High School and was named the Lockhart Stadium after former city commissioner H.Y. Doug Lockhart. And for nearly 20 years this was all it was used for, it was for track and field at a high school but in 1977 the Miami Toros relocated to the stadium and renamed themselves the Fort Lauderdale Strikers and they played here for a few years up until 1982 when they moved to Minnesota. I just don't get American sport, <laughs> don't get it. The stadium returned to the high school for a few more years until 1998 where Miami Fusion came in and they actually made the stadium a bit more what it's like now. It, they increased the capacity to 2000, they redesigned it all expressly for football, or soccer. I'm trying to use the word soccer in this video. And after that, various soccer teams came and went to be honest, like Miami Fusion came, Fort Adair Lockers came, just loads of ins and outs going on. But in 2016, the stadium was just left abandoned and it was kind of left in a bit of a state of despair. And that's where David Beckham's into Miami come into play they acquired this stadium and they were initially going to use it for their like academy their women's team and kind of a training complex kind of thing but ultimately they have actually used it as their home stadium for the past couple of years now and even now when they've signed Messi they're still playing there and they actually had to up the capacity they built some corners in there because they had loads of people wanting to attend these games so they just knew they needed a new stadium So what's next for this stadium? They've actually kind of been looking for various years now. They've had a lot of eyes on a lot of different locations. They considered the Dodge Island at Port Miami in 2013. In 2014, they looked at the downtown Miami waterfront at Museum Park. And in 2015, they explored the site adjacent to the MLB's Martins Park. But in 2019, they finally landed on the Mel Reese Country Club near the Miami International Airport. There's only one small problem though, the site was actually city owned and needed a public referendum to allow Inter Miami to play there. But with an overwhelming majority, they got the deal done and they now own this ground. And this brings us to the new plans and they've got a lot of plans, the space is huge. So they didn't want to just build the stadium, they wanted to build a bunch of things. But obviously we'll start with the stadium, they want to build a new state of the art, wicked, huge stadium with a capacity of 25,000. But they didn't want to end with this. The complex is so big, they're going to add loads. They're going to have a training facility there. They're going to have a new 58-acre public park, office, retail and commercial space, and also a hotel with 750 rooms. And so the construction of the Miami Freedom Park has now begun. It began back in August of 2023, and the intention is to open it in 2025, which is actually the final year of Messi's contract. So it's going to be nice kind of... Uh, Messi's goodbye almost, but the new era beginning, you know, what um, what he's built, it's actually kind of cool. It's, it, you're really seeing, like, the, the birth of a, a, a big club here out in America, and I think uh, it's kind of special what's happening. So that's it. That's Miami Freedom Park. That's what's going on right now uh, over in Miami, and obviously this is spearheaded by David Beckham, so that's kind of why it brings more interest. But... Really fascinating stuff. I think, you know, American soccer is still so new. It's still so new. Obviously, it's got a bit of history from the 80s and 90s, but it's really kind of coming up to it now. You know, European football and, and even South American football has years of, of history and heritage, but they're still kind of crafting that over there now. And I think we're seeing now potentially a big club with a lot of money behind them. Uh, and it's just mad that they've got Messi there as well. So, so yeah, I thought it was an interesting story. But, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, give us a like and a subscribe. I've got a few other videos like this. I did a Stamford Bridge one and I did an Old Trafford one. Uh, so if you like this, you'll like those videos. So go check them out. But that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.